The 12 disciples took off running. They weren't even at the cross. My God. But she was there. Yes. yes. But we ready to kick out women out of the ministry, right? Stay right there. We ready to kick women out of the ministry, right? Stay right there. But the men was running. The men was hiding. The men sat there. They sat here to die the three times for the cop for Christ. But now you don't think women got a part in ministry. That the way ain't no but a lie. I remember the scripture. I think the scripture says that the barbarians check the scripture daily in reference to what the apostles preached if it was so. And then it says that they admire the works of God. And not only they admire the works of God, that they looked and they said that everyone was pure. Men as well as women. Oh my God. What, wait, wait, come take a minute. You done told me women ain't got nothing to do with it. But it say that the women got blessed as well as men. That say as is equal. As God, one more water. Y'all, y'all don't push me. Y'all don't push me. This woman I got here, she thought. And so now, this is the thing that gets me. Now, you know they speak about that story in Matthew, and they speak about that story in Luke. It's the same story. I just don't think that story happened twice. But then I got to look at this thing. I got to look at it now. Wait a minute. I mean, Doc, it said, oh my God. Because people ain't going to believe me. But let me just go there. So we can sit here and break this thing down. My God. My God. Hello, somebody. Are y'all with me? Amen. My God. Are everybody feeling okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think I got it. Because I enemy do you. I ain't preached this message so long. This was my first. It was my trial sermon. And every time I preach it, God showed me something totally different. That's what I be trying to tell people. You can't get caught up. You can't get caught up and just, uh, you know, uh, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, cause that man of God been preaching longer than me. God, listen to what I'm saying. God is not looking at your skill. God is looking at your will. Yes. And the word of God say, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. Now, did you just hear me? I said, God is not looking at your skill. God is looking at your will. And the word of God say, I will bless the Yes. yes. That's right. right. People be like, Elder Walker, where you get all that stuff from? <laughs> Communication with God. Amen. Communicate everything I see, I see God in it. But say I see God in it. Amen. I see God in it. <laughs> somebody please. Say somebody Google. Google Matthew the story. It start where? Twenty six. Yeah. Say that again. Twenty six and seven. 26 and 7, Matthew 26? Yes. Okay, hold on. See, I done, I done revamped this thing so much. Can somebody read it for me? Can there, you read it for me? There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment uh -huh. and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. Right. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Very I say unto you, Wheresoever the gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman have done, be told for a memorial of her. Yes. Now, he said that she did this for my burial. Yes. Right. Now, can I just help somebody? The word of God says we're supposed to die daily. Amen. And so what happens is, 
He said, I need a broken spirit and contract heart. And, oh my God, my old side. He said, I need a broken spirit and contract heart. So in other words, what I'm saying, what you're saying, Brother Pastor, I'm saying that God allowed you to go through what you went through so he can get the ointment out of the alabaster box. He told you to present it. He said, I need a broken spirit and contract heart. So as you go through things, issues, once you start getting the best out your mess, the pain out your pain, once you can start sitting here and be able to see here and look at your what we're most high life situations. Can I just help somebody? If I cut my hand, if I cut my hand, and guess what happens? The body automatically start repairing it. The body automatically do that. But guess what? If I cut my hand and pus start coming out, what happens is that means something inside it that don't belong there. It's something foreign. It's a pestilence. And so what it is, it's not a Agreeing with my body. Oh my God. Can I just help somebody? Now I'm trying to tell you in your spirit, when you got something that don't belong there, when you got something that don't belong there, when somebody come and they see it, God say, try the spirit out. By the spirit. Why did he say that? Why did he didn't say just try the flesh? By the flesh. He said try the spirit. Because guess what? The spirit gonna tell. The spirit gonna tell where you are. The spirit When somebody starts redirecting you, they say, you know, you be like, hmm. And oh no, be like that, be talking to me like that, that's your spirit. I'm a most high. And so now, how do I get that mess out my spirit? First, I got to identify that something is in my flesh that don't belong there. And so what this woman did, this woman came to an understanding. She said that I'm a sinner. Yeah, they call me a sinner. I had to do what I had to do. It is what it is. I don't care what you say about me because guess what I'm the most high God. I'm going to come out of here free but guess what we can't get you to sit here and think that way all you want to do you want to like throw your hands up make it feel good make it act like you hold so safe Jesus let <laughs> you know let somebody don't put some french fries in your bag let somebody don't put some french fries in your bag let your french fries be cold oh you kick it in the door what the world going on you telling me I done sat here waiting three cars ahead of me I got these cold fries you better give me some fries don't let me jump over this counter I watch YouTube I know if he gonna get that up <laughs> you better say it that's what your french fries I just love God. I just love God. See, laughter is a metaphor for the soul. Yes, that's right. People done got to the point. They don't even want to laugh no more, man. You get around safe folk, man, you know. I don't laugh like stuff like that. It's not funny to me. It's funny to me. I'm sorry. It's funny to me. You fail. You didn't say hallelujah on your way down. You said another word. <laughs> it was funny to me. I wish I had a videotaped it so I could show the whole church. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm a little sorry. Yes, yes. But yes. God wanted you to present your alabaster yes. box. Because according to the word, they say the alabaster box was priceless. It was expensive. God talked to me the other day. He told me, he said, son, you don't have to wake up and be in the Bugatti. You are the Bugatti. Mm, my God. I say, oh my God. He said, I ain't got to wake up. You know, mm. my boy Ace Hood, he sang a song, I woke up and I was in the Bugatti. So I say, you are the Bugatti. Mm. That's why every time somebody try to touch you, that's why it don't work. Oh my God. Every time somebody try to talk about you, that's why it don't work. Mm -hmm. Come on. Because I got you. Yes. You my Bugatti. I got full coverage for bumper to bumper. Come on. Hello, somebody. 
and ain't gonna be no towing anything. Right. Yes.